Hi, I'm Steve with Moose Logic. We're back again this week and we're going to discuss Zen Client and Synchronizer. This is a new product that is coming from Citrix. It has not been released yet. However, it is in RC, Release Candidate, and you can download it from the Citrix website. The product is a bare metal hypervisor that will run on VT capable hardware. That's virtualization technology capable hardware. It is a bare metal hypervisor and it allows you to run multiple virtual machines on that hypervisor. I believe that this is going to change the way that we deliver desktops to our end users that are on the road. Now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate to you why that is the case. First thing is I'm going to go ahead and get this Dell E6400 series laptop running. And the first thing that will happen is the machine will boot up and it will go directly into the bare metal hypervisor. You will not see a Windows boot up. It does not exist. So here comes the Zen client. And while we're waiting for that to boot up, I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the synchronizer, which is your back end that runs in the data center. Uh, what this allows you to do is you actually upload a virtual machine image into your synchronizer, which I have already done. You can see it's right here you are then able to stream this virtual machine down to your uh, Zen client desktops which I'm going to demonstrate for you in just a moment. Synchronizer is a virtual machine, a virtual appliance that runs on Zen server. Uh, it's very intuitive, very simple to use. Uh, this next button here is users, it ties into Active Directory. You're able to set up users, give them administrative rights or not. Uh, you can look at the devices tab. You can see the devices that you have checked in, who the user assigned to it is. Uh, this button right here is really great because that allows you to check the machine is missing, which means if somebody steals a laptop, next time they boot it up, it will not function. It, uh, it will actually be locked out and protect your data. So uh, that's a great function, um, something that we really need to have available. now switch back over to our Dell laptop here and uh, get logged into the Zen client. What you're seeing now is the Zen client, this is what we call DOM0. It's the, the base domain, uh, control domain for the environment. I have two virtual machines here that I've created. Uh, this one is a Windows 7, this one's a Windows XP. Uh, you can envision the concept that this might be your corporate desktop uh, and this may be your user's standard desktop that they use on a day-to-day -day basis that they have administrative rights on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a new virtual machine to this. Uh, simply to do that I click Add VM. My choices are Install from Disk or Download from Synchronizer. I'm going to Download from Synchronizer. Select a new VM. I have the Windows 7 Demo VM here. Uh, click Next. Give it a name. I'm going to call it test VM and click finish. What will happen is this virtual machine will start to download to this machine. It takes a matter of seconds. You'll see it create the virtual machine and then download it. What's happening is the synchronizer is downloading enough of the bits to actually give you the ability to boot it. So it's already down and now I can go ahead and start it up. And This immediately starts to boot into a Windows 7 operating system. It's going to be a fairly standard boot. You'll see a post and you'll see the Windows operating system start. And so here comes the Windows operating system uh, here. Okay, this is the Windows 7 operating system that I downloaded from the synchronizer. I can now go ahead and log into that virtual machine just like I would any other uh, Windows operating system. And as soon as that logs in, the next thing I'm going to demonstrate for you is what happens if I accidentally delete the virtual machine. Because it is the synchronizer product is running back in the data center, the virtual machines are being backed up, the deltas are being flowed are being sent back to the data center so that you can restore if somebody accidentally deletes an image 
or it goes corrupt, you can uh, quickly and easily restore it. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you next. So I'm now going to go ahead and access the details on this virtual machine. Um, real quick, the synchronization tab here is where you have the different options for backup. And I'm going to, oops, delete my virtual machine. So now what I need to do is I wish to restore it, so I go add VM, download synchronizer, and choose to restore the VM from backup. I select the machine that I'm restoring from, and as you can see I have a bunch of restore points here. I'm going to go ahead and select the restore point that was created recently. Um, choose next, give it a name, we will call it backup. Select finish. Same process as when I created a new virtual machine. It will create the virtual machine, download the uh, necessary uh, bits to go ahead and get it started. And as you can see here that that process is already done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and boot it up. Once again, it's a standard Windows 7 boot. Uh, it takes uh, about the time a typical Windows 7 boot takes. You'll see it go through the post, etc. So in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and stop there. I'm Steve with Moose Logic. I hope you've enjoyed our demonstration today of the Synchronizer and Zen Client product.